Steak und Salat. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, Il est dans son bureau, il attend. Je sais que vous avez souligné ça hier, qu'il se pourrait qu'il soit là. Mais je ne sais pas sûr si vous étiez toujours. Voilà. Moi, je me disais que je parlais de la rencontre de la rencontre. Moi, donc, on a maintenant parlé de tout le monde. C'est ça. Il y a une première partie qui va être après maintenant. Et bon, il va être là. Donc, après, on va rentrer. Je veux corriger les épreuves. Vous pouvez aller. 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 Vous pouvez Je ne sais pas si This element uh, was an important ele uh, design element for the teacher house. This element you can see in front of every building. Uh, it was designed in order to conduct the rainwater during the rain time through this canal to this, like you can see, you see the water coming down, and then through this canal on the bottom to bring it in the main canal here, so the water will come from this canal, canal to this main canal, and will be conducted to the end there where there is a vessel which will, will be used to collect the rain water and to use it in the rain, in the, in the dry season where there is no water, to grow plants or vegetables or a lot of things. This plaster was made by clay, really, it is really clay. This was made by cement and is a kind of a plaster uh, in this part because water is, will come here and maybe it will, it will be destroyed by the rain. But this one is made by clay, real clay, you can see. You see, it's clay and it is made vertical. The rain cannot destroy it in that way. On top we have uh, um, cement, product, the plaster made by cement, but this is made by clay, and you can see. Very natural, is a traditional way to protect walls. Um, even so, the rain is fresh. It cannot destroy it because it's adapted. It's a vertical and it's work. Very good. It's four, year, four years old. This way of thinking is a, has a strong relation, a strong connection to the local tradition and the local techniques. That's what I'm using to create buildings like you can see here. From the beginning, you know, making drawing, thinking about the project, talking to the people, and then trying to find out which material is the best for, the, for, 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 for producing the bricks. So this all is part of this work. It is a long, 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 long process. You have to know what is available, what is not available. Uh, 
uh, regarding material or human power, the people, the local people. Okay. So you need two persons to do the to, to press one and two, and you need one person to fill, and then you need those to bring with 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 with, with, with uh, mm. to bring the clay and, and 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 sand and water. So normally when we work, you have something like 20, 30 worker sitting here. So like this, we take it, so you can see, and we put it to dry. Okay? Cool. One important element in this architecture is this opening in the ceiling. As you can see on top, on the point, the, the highest point inside, on the inside uh, of the part of the ceiling, uh, we have this opening in order to have light inside the building on the level of the board. So, giving more visibility to the student and to the teacher. But it is not only for, for light. It's of the same, but it's, it's of the same time, the hot air will escape from inside the building through this opening. That's why we make it like this. In Dano, in this building, we decide to use local material. Like in Gando, where we use bricks, we decide to use the local. The most available material in this region is lateral. So we take it, we take it, and we cut it in, in blocks like this, and we put layers, very fine layers, to have a very good uh, looking, very homogeneous wall. And you can see that it is a, a wall which comes out only with the color of the material. You don't need to put a plaster to protect it. It is rustical, it is uh, strong, and you don't need any maintenance at all. That was the idea to build, um, to use this uh, this local uh, stone and to have a building like this. Another important thing in the architecture here, in my uh, architecture, is uh, the windows. I will try to open it so you can see. Um, you can you, you can open it in two different ways. I try to like this and hide it, and then you can close it. So you close it, and from inside, normally you will open it like this. So like this. So it is a little dirty, but just to show you how it works, uh, and that's so when it's very hot, they close it. I, I tell you, you they do it from inside, and you can like this, then, so, perfecto. The strong expression of the roof is the characteristic of this building. We have a very wide overlapping roof, like you can see here, and this was made to protect the entire building against the sun, which is very strong in West Africa here. And also to protect this wall against rain. Because rain, rain destroyed rain destroy the building. Uh, and uh, we made this roof in order to protect it against rain and the, and the sun. And at the same time, we provide spaces like this, which are not a classroom, but it is an open space, which is protected by the roof. And there, the children, the, the, the students can sit during the day and practice or just to be together. So the house here is like a big, big tree with leaves, with big, big leaves, protecting the human against the sun and provide 
and how Barack knows where he can stay during the day and play and be together.